when you really learn your body, when you learn to master the art of sexual kung fu, learn to control your ejaculation, this can be a very powerful birth control method. Hey guys, I'm Jonathan White. I'm here to help you master your sexual energy so that you can magnetize your ideal life. If you're interested in learning more about sexual mastery, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified when I release new videos. Make sure you grab my free ejaculation control guide. There's a link in the description below. I'm teaching a free online workshop on October 12th about male sexual mastery. I'll be teaching exercises to control your ejaculation, to transmute sexual energy. It's gonna be really amazing. So you can sign up for that for free through the link in the description of this video. So I wanna talk about semen retention as birth control. This is something uh, several people have asked me about and uh, so I wanna share a little information and my own experience with this. So I have been using semen retention basically as my primary method of birth control for many, many years now and with complete success. You know, I haven't had any un unwanted pregnancies basically. When you master your ejaculatory response, when you can control your ejaculation, then you know that you're not going to ejaculate during sex, basically. And this can be a method of birth control. This is what the Taoists used in ancient China. They learned sexual kung fu and they learned to master their ejaculation control so that they wouldn't impregnate their partners and could have all the sex they wanted. Now, there's kind of a myth that uh, the pre ejaculate fluid, you know, pre cum, contains amounts of sperm in it. And I've done my own research on this and basically what I found is that what they found that when the Cowper's fluid, which is the, the pre-ejaculation fluid, when it r alone is released, like when you're when you're aroused, you know, and it starts secreting, there's no sperm in that. You know, the research I found said there was there's pretty much zero sperm in it. But what happens is that sometimes when you get a little too close to the edge of, of the point of return, the point at which you ejaculate, you have these mini contractions and a little bit of sperm gets released into the urethra. And this obviously would be a problem if, you're, uh, if birth control is a priority of yours. You need to develop a certain amount of sensitivity to tell if you've hit the point and if you've had a little bit of semen fluid come out. And you'll know because the uh, you know instead of being a completely clear fluid it's this kind of milky white fluid and but it may be hard to tell if you're in your partner so this is why you know self practice self cultivation is important to really master this stuff first of all before you think of implementing it with a partner also if you're constantly squeezing your your PC muscle during sex that can trigger your ejaculatory response and it can also trigger you to to secrete actually semen in with the pre ejaculate fluid so be mindful of that check out my recent video on uh, Kegels and if Kegels cause premature ejaculation. I'll put a link to that video in the description. I basically explain how how I've realized in my in my recent practice that having a completely relaxed pelvic floor during sex is very important for ejaculation control. So basically, if you're able to keep your, your arousal under control, if you're able to keep your pelvic floor relaxed and able to channel this arousal upwards in your body during sex, then no semen is going to come out. And again, I've been using this method for years and I've had a lot of sex in those years and no pregnancies, guys. One thing I will mention is that I'm very, very careful about this. My partner and I, we track her ovulation period. You know, there's, there's kind of a window of time where she's much more likely to become pregnant. You know, a woman can only become pregnant when she's ovulating. So if you are going to have unprotected sex, then you can do it outside of that ovulation uh, period and you'll be much, much less likely to get her pregnant. And you can look up r the rhythm method of birth control to, to find more information about this. Obviously, you wanna know what you're doing before you even think about using semen retention as birth control. I don't recommend this to a beginner. I, in fact, you know, a little disclaimer here, this is completely at your own risk, you know. No birth control method is 100% safe, but um, if you do develop the skill to control your ejaculation during sex and learn to decipher when you've secreted a bit of semen, you know, when you've gotten too close to the edge versus when you're not, basically, then you can think about using this as birth control. And then back to the, the ovulation period. So when my partner is near her ovulation period, I will use a condom. You know, I don't, I don't like to risk it. You know, I don't want any unwanted pregnancies at this time in my life. And so when she's, when it's, near the, the, the time frame of her ovulation period, I wear a condom. But the rest of the time, I we have unprotected sex and I use semen retention as birth control. So we get into the, the question of why would I want to, why would you want to use semen retention as birth control when there's so many birth control methods? So let's look at some of the methods. Um, 
The birth control pill is extremely popular, but in my opinion, it's it has a lot of, of side effects. You know, basically putting artificial hormones into the woman's body, and this creates all kinds of issues of hormonal imbalances. Often it causes the woman's sex drive to diminish or her enjoyment of sex to diminish, which is, you know, kind of counterproductive to your goal anyway. So, you know, and I had this experience where the when I had partners who were on birth control pills, their sex drive diminished when they were on the birth control. So it's, it's you know, it's very interesting. And a lot of women have all kinds of problems with, with using birth control pills. So I recommend avoiding this approach if you can. And there's also like the devices where they like actually insert a device into the woman's vagina. And you know, this seems a bit unnatural to me. I would personally avoid that as well. Then of course there's operations, you know, hysterectomies and bisectomies. And in my opinion, you don't really want to mess around with this area of your body. You know, our sexual organs are responsible for, they're, they're really, you know, our core endocrine glands and responsible for producing our hormones and, and our hormonal balance. And if you go, you know, snipping things down there, you can cause yourself some unwanted side effects. So personally, you know, I have no desire to modify that part of my body, but you know, if you've had a bisectomy, it's all right, it's not the end of the world, but personally, I would avoid it. And of course, condoms are, you know, a solid go-to during sex. They do diminish sexual pleasure a bit. Uh, they take away some sensation, but the benefits of that in that they prevent unwanted pregnancies and sexually transmitted diseases definitely outweigh the side effects in my opinion. So condoms are always a good go-to. And again, in the end, no birth control is 100% safe, you know, so there's always that inherent risk of a pregnancy. So make sure that you love the person that you're connecting with, or at least understand the consequences of what you're getting yourself into. And again, when you really learn your body, when you learn to master the art of sexual Kung Fu, learn to control your ejaculation, this can be a very powerful birth control method in my experience. So thank you for watching this video. I hope this has given you some insight. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. Have a great day.